You know, before we start, I'm going to let the estimable Rick Lombardo give people a one-minute summation of what the play is. <laughs> one so minute. In, in, one, in one minute, Rick is going to tell us what the play is about. Two guys, one a blue-collar Italian-American care driver living in San Francisco. One guy, mid-30s, failed uh, hedge fund manager from New York who flamed out in 2008, now living in his parents' basement in San Mateo, meet by playing together in a fantasy baseball league. One day, the cab driver comes in with these bug spring rolls, and they hatch this idea to start a company which will introduce, in a major way, insect protein into the American diet as an alternative to beef. They have now come to a fundraising party in Los Altos to pitch a billionaire venture capitalist to fund their startup while they make fantasy baseball trades. There you go. So the idea um, came to uh, me and then to Dan, um, who was my partner in, the, in this venture. Um, a venture capitalist who was a friend of mine came to me uh, a couple of years ago and wanted to sponsor uh, an initiative, an artistic initiative, to write plays about global warming. And then he spent two hours giving me facts about the state of things, and I was terrified. I mean, I really, I was like, write a play about that? I, why don't I just shoot myself? I mean, it'll be a lot easier. Um, I mean, he was really, he was full of really, really kind of dire and scary things. And so he felt like we had to find a way to culturally and artistically and creatively inspire um, people to look at the issue. So I was left thinking, well, how do you entertain people about global warming? A few months later, Dan Hoyle, who's my partner in this, came to me to pitch me. He's a monologist, which means he does solo shows. He came to me uh, it's my office to pitch me an idea for his um, latest show. I knew he was a rabid Giants fan. So, we, so before his pitch started, I said, Dan, before we start, talk to me about Lincecum. You know? <laughs> and so he launched into a you know, half an hour thing about Tim Lincecum, and, and, you know, like in the state of the Giants. We then said, OK, let's talk about your pitch. We talked for about 20 minutes about his idea, and then he said, well, but what about Derek Jeter, who's the shortstop for the Yankees, which is my team, because he knew I was a fanatical Yankee fan. So we spent another half an hour talking about that. I went home that night, and I called Dan on the phone and said, Dan, why don't we write a play about baseball? Because it seemed to be the currency of, of, our, con of, our, of our passion. And um, so we kind of quickly we were very excited about the idea. He said, I'm down, I'll do it, let's, let's just do it. And so we jumped into it, and of course, within a couple of days, you're like, well, we can't really just write a play with guys in uniforms and bats on the stage running around, that's not gonna work. And so we were both, we were both attracted to, to two seminal ideas. One was this idea of um, where, where sports fans go, um, What's the comfort zone that we go to? What do we use sports to actually do in our lives? What do we use it to like distract ourselves from? What do we use it to like celebrate? What do we use it to like bond with other, other people about? But also, what do we use, how do we use it to like distract ourselves from our inner emotional terror? And then, and then um, the other issue was this issue about the state of the world, was the issue about global warming. And, and it, was there a way to marry these two, two things? And so we, this, 30-second summation that Rick gave um, is an encapsulation of what we tried to do. We, we, and, the, and how we did it, in terms of our process, just for those of you who, who want to know, just how do you co-write a play? I've never done that before. But my, but my son, my oldest son, and his tribe, he's a screenwriter and a television writer and a, and a, a director, he writes with other people all the time. And I had just finished writing a, a play by myself, which was a... Fantastic experience, but it took every single molecule in my body for about two years, and I thought I will never write another play because I have this thing called a job, and it's really hard to kind of find time to write. And so I, I um, thought, well, writing with somebody else will be fantastic, and it turned out to be exactly that. It, it turned out to be um, pretty much a joyride. I mean, it was, it's hard because writing plays is probably the hardest thing any person could ever do with their life, and I don't recommend it to any of you, so you know, unless you're really desperate. But um, uh, it's, it's a really hard thing to do because everything's got to be so efficient and so, 
so dramatically um, um, uh, driven that it, it, it's a very unforgiving art form. But anyway, that's what we did, and that's how it happened.